Can we turn Jupiter into a star? Let's find out. Here we go. Here we go. Everybody, much adventure here today. I'm playing. So Jupiter is what's known as a failed star. And what that means is Jupiter basically has all of the ingredients you need to make it a star. And I'm pretty sure that's basically just hydrogen. If you look at the planet composition over here, um, you'll see Jupiter is, what, 98% hydrogen uh, with a little bit of silicate, I guess. Yeah, so anyways, so that that's the makeup of Jupiter. And what happens when a solar system forms, right? There's, there's this big nebula ball of gases and stuff floating around right and as it as time goes on they start to attract each other through gravity and obviously like big things attract more gravity and so what happens is the sun is basically the original thing that attracts all the gravity it collapses uh in on itself right to the point where you have a sun um it gets so hot right it gets so dense there's so much stuff uh, so much gas and stuff of, you know gets attracted through gravity that it ends up squishing itself and getting super hot and then it eventually turns into fusion which is uh what's known as a main sequence star so right now the sun is fusion i believe it's turning hydrogen into helium um or something like that <laughs> so the question is what do we got to do to make to, to do that to jupiter to ignite jupiter and really when you think of it the sun gobbled up most of the gases in our solar system when it first started forming and the planets are what's left over. Jupiter, they think, uh, scientists believe that Jupiter was the first one to form after that whole thing happened. Um, and it just didn't, it just never got big enough to uh, form its own star, right? It never got big enough to collapse the gravity in on itself and start fusion. So really, all we should have to do to Jupiter to turn it into a star is increase the mass, right? Currently it's one Jupiter, but if we increase the mass, and get Jupiter bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. It should the gravity of it should eventually pull itself in and start um, start fusion and turn it into a sun. So the question is, how much bigger does Jupiter need to be to turn into a star? Let's find out, shall we? So I'm opening up the mass here. We got Jupiter here, looking beautiful as always. Uh, let's go ahead and increase it by two times. Average temperature is minus 167 Celsius. So two times didn't really do anything. Radius is a little bit... The radius is actually getting smaller, which is kind of interesting. Let's do another two times. So now Ju we got the mass is four Jupiters now. Radius... It's funny how the radius increases and then shrinks. It's like gravity is doing its job. Uh, the density is getting more dense, as you can see here on the density. And the average temperature is staying the same. It's still 167. Um... Minus 167 Celsius. Let's speed up time and let's go to like two days per second. Okay, and now let's make it. Let's do uh, two again. Now it's eight times. You look at that, it expands and then it shrinks. Gravity. Still 167. We're not affecting the, uh, the temperature yet, but it is getting way more dense. And the radius is only, it's more dense, but the radius is basically one Jupiter. Let's increase that by two. Its mass is eight Jupiters now. Let's go 16 Jupiters by increasing by two. Boom, okay, 16 Jupiters. Look at that. The average temperature immediately started skyrocketing. Now we're at 140, trapped on 140. Not bad. And Jupiter now is actually getting smaller than its original self. Look at that. Look at the densities, 22, uh, what's that, grams per centimeter? But the radius now of Jupiter is only 10 Earths. That's interesting. Okay, let's go again, which will make it, what, 32 times? Let's go 32 times Jupiter! Okay, same thing. Average temperature increasing. It's actually getting smaller. The more mass you put, it's still getting smaller. Uh, 361 degrees Celsius. Now that is hot. Okay, let's go again. Let's go again. 64 times Jupiter. This could get hot, guys. Let's do it. Whoa! Is this, a, is this a star yet? No. It's still technically a planet. Oh my, it's glowing though. Oh my lord. So Jupiter is now 64 times the mass of normal Jupiter, but it's only 8.7 Earths in radius. Wow, let's, slow, let's take a look at Jupiter. What is happening on Jupiter? It's out of control. The heat is out of control, 912 Celsius. 
Oh my goodness. It's out of control. Okay, let's slow time right down. All right, we got. I think we got to go incrementally here. If I do another one, it's just gonna be. Gonna. I don't know when it's gonna be a star, but let's go incrementally. F by ones now. Okay. Sixty-five. Let's go sixty-seven. It's getting hotter. Look at the heat. The heat is getting hotter. Let's go slowly. Sixty-eight Jupiters of mass. A thousand. Keep going. Oh my God! It's gonna blow, guys. It's gonna blow. Let's go again. 70 times mass of Jupiter. 1100 Celsius. Let's go 71. What's the magic number here? What's the magic number of density, right? Is it, what is that? Is it the density or is it the mass? What's the magic number? Let's go up a little bit more. 72 Jupiters. 73 Jupiters. It's look at the heat, guys. Heat's getting out of control. 1200 Celsius. Okay, 75 Jupiters. It is still technically a planet. Look at the glow. Man, if Jupiter was that hot, what would it look like on Earth? Okay, here we go. 76 Jupiters. It's now increasing in size. So that's interesting. 1,500 Celsius. 77 Jupiters. Is it hot enough? Let's speed time up. It's not hot enough. 77 Jupiters. I think it's, it's got to be right there. Let's go. 78 Jupiters! What's happening? Let's speed up time. Does it need time? No, it doesn't. It's losing some of its density, which is interesting. It must be burning off. Okay, let's go. Oh, that was it right there. Whoa, that was it right there. Look at it. It's going crazy. We just turned it into a star. 78.9 Jupiters. There's the answer. The answer to how many times the mass of Jupiter until it becomes a star is 78.9. Interesting. Wow. So if we had an 80 times Jupiter, basically, it would be a star. That's uh, terrifying, actually. That's terrifying. It, it, let's see if it's pulling anything out of orbit. Let's see what's happening with the orbits. I just want to see, is it like, did we increase the mass big enough that the orbits are getting crazy? Let's find out. Look at the sun is now dancing around. Look at this. Look at the sun. The sun, it's its like they're in like a binary star system or something now. Look at that. Wow. Or does the sun normally do that? I don't know. But to me, it looks like the sun is in like a binary thing with Jupiter now. Wow. It's pulling it around. It for sure is pulling the sun around now. That is interesting. Did that do anything to Earth though? Did it throw Earth out of whack? Oh, geez, it did, I think. Let's see, what is going on on Earth? Did we just kill Earth by making Jupiter a, a uh, or is it just winter? I can't tell, is this more than just winter? Average temperature, eight degrees? What's the chance of life on this bad boy? Nine, so it's went down a little bit. 99.6% like the Earth, so not much has changed. Not much has changed, so that's good to know. But I mean, how long can this exist before it really gets out of whack? Let's speed that up. Here we go. We're going zillions of years. It's like, oh my lord. Okay, so we're going two years per second. Now let's slow her down and take a look. Jupiter is just ripping through the galaxy or the solar system. It is just ripping through. All right, we got to bring this way down. What is it? Is it causing carnage? It's causing carnage to all the smaller bodies. That's for sure. All these little guys. But everything else is kind of, uh, you know, not. The Ju Obviously, the Juno satellite is. Is that the Juno satellite? Or what is that? Anyways. Wow, now we know. Now we know we can we you can in fact make Jupiter a star by increasing its mass only. Uh, so there it is. There's Jupiter, our new star. 
And if you guys like this, please uh, hit the like button. And also, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. I'll be running through a couple more space simulations. So if you like this kind of stuff, space stuff, uh, I've been doing a lot of it lately. So please hit that subscribe button. And uh, we'll see you next time, guys. Take it easy.